Good morning. I'm Lindy Savell with Georgia Grown Citrus and today I'm going to show you how to train a citrus tree. Okay, the first thing when you train a citrus tree is make sure you have good sharp clippers because if you don't, with a citrus tree, you're likely to tear part of the trunk. And one of the things about training a citrus tree is you want it to be a tree and not a bush. So this is a young Caracara navel tree. It's about a year old. And first thing you wanna do is probably clip off these thorns, okay? And then these little leaves will later become limbs unless you take those off. So we're going to carefully remove these leaves. Okay. And we're going to go up this this little tree. Take removing these leaves. Be careful if you pull them off. Don't tear the trunk. Okay. Now we've got three or four or five leaves. That's all you need. It just needs it needs to have leaves on it for uh, sunshine. On a larger tree, we take a little bit of paint. You can also do this on a small tree and just touch lightly with some paint on those areas that you just clipped. That way, that prevents insects from getting into those uh, little areas where you've clipped away the leaves. One of the things that's really good for a tree is to put a wrap around it. By putting a wrap around your tree, that prevents sunlight from hitting the tree and making future sprouts come out. Because everywhere that you've clipped, it's likely to produce a sprout, another limb, and that's not what you want to do. You want this tree to get about 24 to 30 inches before it starts having branches. So what you do is put a wrap. You can also, in, in a young tree, instead of buying this plastic wrap, one of the things that some homeowners do is they actually take aluminum foil and wrap it around the tree so that the sunlight is blocked away from it. But these plastic wraps are really good as well. And you can also, for stability of this little tree, you can put a stake in it. You can put a bamboo stake, a metal stake, just to keep the tree upright. Now, the reason that we do this is a number of things. But first of all, in a commercial grove, you want to wrap around a tree to prevent the, the, um, the growth of rootstock limbs from coming out or other fruit limbs from coming out. But also in a commercial grove, you're going to be spraying herbicides and, and that sort of thing around the tree to keep the weeds away. Because after all, you want the area around the tree to be free of weeds. So that most likely is through the use of herbicides. If you put this wrap around the tree, it protects it from uh, the herbicide actually hitting the bark of the tree. But the other thing is, the reason you want this to grow up to 24 or 30 inches, I have um, a tree here that's a little older tree. This is actually a, almost a two-year-old tree. And I'm going to move over here and show you what happens when you don't train a young tree to be a tree. Instead, you let it kind of be a bush. This is what happens. You get all this growth down low. And when you're trying to spray your herbicides, it's difficult to get under this area if you've got these limbs hanging down. And you can see, here's a good example right here where some herbicide actually hit this tree and killed that growth. But what we're, what we're doing is we're gonna prune, we need to prune up this tree because all these limbs, now this is a brown select satsuma. And if you can see, this tree's already blooming. It's got all this, these little buds coming out. It's just loaded with fruit. So now, sadly, because these limbs lean down, now we've got to cut all of this growth off. So that's just wasted growth that this little tree put on. So I'm going to clip all these low limbs like this. And again, remember, it's important to have a good set of clippers because you don't want to mar up the tree. But I'm going to clip away all of this low-hanging growth so that when we do come in to spray herbicides on the ground, 
We don't touch these limbs that are hanging down. And then one of the things that I do, again, these little areas that you clipped off, just put a little bit of latex paint. You can buy a product in uh, garden stores that um, it's, it's like a wound dressing, but paint just works pretty well too. And I just cover up that area that I just clipped away so that it's not susceptible to uh, insect damage. Okay, so in summary, you want to train a little tree to be a tree and not a bush. Because if you don't train it to be a tree, it'll be a bush and then later on, all your limbs are going to be hanging on the ground. And, and you don't want that for spraying purposes as well as if a limb is touching the ground. That's just a nice little entryway for insects to come in. So be sure when you purchase a citrus tree that you train it to be a tree and not a bush. You'll be happy in the end with that.